So in today's web dev tip, I just wanted to share with you a few websites where you can practice your JavaScript coding skills uh, with some beginner coding challenges. So I'm just going to run through these websites really quickly for you. So the first website is codewars.com and you might be familiar with this already. It's quite popular. Uh, there are lots of different uh, problems that you can solve on here, ranging from really beginner functions that need to be implemented right all the way up to complex problems that need some kind of mathematical and algorithmic knowledge to solve them. Uh, so it's worth having a check out even if you just start off with the beginner challenges and the interface for Code Wars is quite nice as well. If you have a look at some of the uh, kata that are available that's the name of the challenges uh, that you can get. Uh, for example if you go to the really uh, easy uh, challenges which you might want to do if you're a beginner uh, you can see uh, there's different implementations, different languages that you can use to solve the problems uh, but chances are you'll be doing it with JavaScript uh, and if you go to the train button here you can see you get this nice interface where you can write the function uh, that is you're writing to solve the problem that you've been given uh, and there are tests that run against your function to make sure that the input that's been provided matches the output that you're expecting. So it's worth giving Code Wars a, a bit of a check out if you're new to programming challenges. Uh, the second website we're going to take a look at is something we've featured on the Junior Developer Central YouTube channel before uh, and it's called Edibit, edibit.com. And again, there are some really easy challenges that you can start off with uh, and it gives you a nice interface to actually uh, kind of write a function to solve these problems uh, and you'll get tests and results in the right hand side. So this one, for example, you're just adding a couple of numbers together and returning the result. There are some more challenging exercises that you can do as well. So it goes all the way up to very hard and expert. So you can always grow with the site as your skills improve. And of course it keeps track of your progress and uh, lets you know when you've got to the next stage. Uh, the next site we're going to take a look at is slightly different. It's called Coding Game or Coding Game. And there is tutorials and uh, exercises that you can do. But what I like about this site is there is actually a section here where you can uh, clash or kind of compete with other people. So if you join one of these clashes, you'll be given a problem uh, similar to what you get on Code Wars or Edibit or another site. And you have to solve it uh, either in the quickest time or alternatively sometimes you get a challenge where you have to solve it with the shortest amount of code so probably not great for programming uh, best practices uh, but it's quite a good fun and you can uh, quite certainly learn a lot by uh, challenging yourself to complete these challenges in the shortest period of time. So the final website I'm going to mention for uh, JavaScript programming exercises uh, is the free CodeCamp uh, curriculum, which you're probably aware of, um, but don't forget with this that you can always just head back to the different sections that focus on the challenges uh, and you don't need to sign in at any point. You can literally just go in, take a look at the uh, exercises and complete them. And they're all again done in the browser where you write some kind of code or a function uh, and it runs some tests against it uh, to let you know whether your code is working as expected. So there you go, there's four different websites where you can practice your JavaScript skills by completing some exercises. Uh, if you've got another favorite resource uh, for practicing uh, basic JavaScript exercises, feel free to put it in a comment below. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.